This program is available in described video for the visually impaired. The following show contains real clips of real people doing incredibly dumb things. Please don't try any of this at home. There are more than 7 billion people on planet Earth. Only 2.2% of them are smart enough to be called genius. This is not a show about them. what happens when we give this clip the old almost genius treatment. You got it? Nailed it! Hey kids, have I ever told you the story of how I met your mother? No. We'd love to hear it. No, we wouldn't. I was at the park when I looked over and saw the most stunning woman I'd ever seen in my life. That's how you met mom? That's right, and she's been crushing my heart ever since. Tired of clean licensed daycares? Well, no more. Dirty Dan's Daycare is located in the heart of the city, right by the safe injection site. Everything here is totally unsafe, but your kids will run. Like this merry-go-round. I'm Dirty Dan, and don't worry. I'm legally not allowed to work there. And I may not be registered to run a daycare, but neither are any of my employees. That's a Dirty Dan guarantee. Brought to you by knee pads. Put them on and take a knee. Heck, take two. Well, we had a lot of fun last week, and I can't wait to get back at it this week with this week's edition of Why Guy. Derek Stipe will take it away. Huge play out of Pittsburgh. Two guys, real medium athletes, using a swing set not like a swing set. And you know what this guy is thinking. You're just not sure why. Wait for it. Show us how you hot tub. We'll tell you if you do anything wrong. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> what? How does a guy not know how to hot tub? 
Oh no, that looks wrong. Uh, you're standing on top of the hot tub. <laughs> Let's just see what he does first. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I hot tub? Is hot tub is supposed to be your face? Oh. Hey, you on the couch? Do you have a dirty brick that you really like wash? We can do that for you. Call Brick Scrubbers at one eight hundred Wash That Brick. It costs seven hundred and fifty dollars though, because it destroys the washing machine every time. <laughs> Next on Almost Genius. Girl size with a freshly cracked egg. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling. Just like I've always said, the best way to get off a roof. It's to climb down. Always climb down. Let's see this guy again the almost genius way. <laughs> I hope there's water down there. Otherwise, this will really hurt. No water. Everyone knows that the best way to use a chair is to stack it on top of eight other chairs and try to jump over it. for the win. This is Brad Hobart. He was my middle school crush. Luckily, nothing ever happened between Brad and I. You want to know the gross part, though? I married the guy whose idea this was. Ron's Krabby Ballet School will teach your kids how to pirouette, how to pat a bourree, how to saute, and how to self-diagnose their own injuries. I landed straight on this side of my face and on my eye. Ron's Krabby Ballet School. Hey, it'll get your kids out of the house. What more do you want? They say learn from your mistakes, but these guys make so many, it'd be a shame not to see what we could gain. If you want a thing done right, do not do it yourself. Hire a professional. Slow and steady wins the race. Emphasis on the steady. One man's trash is another man's face plant. Thanks, gents. I guess we all learned a lot.
Thank you, specific mingle. Jared D. Linden here. Uh, still no agent, but I have sent out a ton of resumes. H hey, Postal Service, I even delivered them! So, here's my videotape audition to play Jim Sparrow in the remake of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Confident on the day there will be a real pirate ship and an ocean. Uh, oh, and I'll probably have real pirate clothes on as well. Hey, what are we gonna get Dad for his birthday? Hmm. You know what he's always wanted? To ride that scooter of his down the hill into a huge puddle. Oh, I think we can make that happen. who definitely aren't geniuses it's male models they said I was too skinny to model men's shorts well to that all I can say is damn they were right I'm too skinny for men's shorts this message brought to you by the National Belt Council should have worn a belt why are we doing this again because we're geniuses. <laughs> oh, yeah. One, uh -huh. two, three. <laughs> <laughs> At least I am. This is because I'm not into law school, is it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> you all were shot. Why is it always my face? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 It's time for the cat who is allergic to himself. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and that was the cat who is allergic to himself. For years, these two dogs released a countless number of songs and countless albums, but they were never able to record them because they're dogs. But now, for the first time ever, you can get all of their songs on one CD. Over two and a half hours of music featuring songs like Where's My Bone, Walkies, 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 Cat Suck, The Vet Took My Manhood, Is That My Ball, I'll Fetch When I Want To, and Subterranean Homesick Bark. Dog album is not sold in stores. To order, call the number on your screen. Do it now before they're all barked out.
If your dog keeps sneaking around at night and you don't know where it goes, turns out it might be going to an all-night dog-only swimming party. <laughs> Chip, the dog that lives at and is taken care of by the employees of the Philbrook Community Center, has been letting all of his dog buddies into the pool area at night. Turns out Chip didn't know about the cameras, though. When reached for comment, Chip just kind of looked away and then started smelling my leg. Do you want to do high impact yoga but don't really know what yoga is? No problem. If you're using a yoga ball, it's yoga. So don't worry about downward dogs or child poses or relaxation. Just get yourself a high impact yoga ball. Do something intense and high impact with it or near it. And you're doing high impact yoga. Yeah. Is jumping on a yoga ball and falling on your face yoga? I'm pretty sure it's certainly high impact. High impact yoga! Yes! Do you see those faces stacked together? Could it be more high impact? Could it be more yoga? Buy a high impact yoga ball today, and this could be you! <laughs> Call out, and we'll throw in this big horse yoga ball for absolutely $50. Let's look at a rejected sport from the X Games. Extreme Breaking. Rejected. And for good reason. <laughs> Tired of sitting the regular way, safely on the ground near a table? Then welcome to the new way of sitting. Don't attempt while sitting. Trampoline sold separately. Next on Almost Genius. Hundreds of shows. You know, in theater, they like to say, break a leg. Usually, they're joking around. <laughs> Sorry, I'm almost done here. <laughs> hey. What are you afraid to come out of the time? In sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Invited Big Sure Steve to be a part of her wedding party? He's a great guy. So what? He buys shoes a little too big for his feet. It's not a big deal. It shouldn't define him for life. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Please continue. The rings, please. No, no, no! <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> we got hitched without a hitch. <laughs> oh, speaking of a big shoe devil over here, looks like someone wants to dance. Oh. May I cut in? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God, what the mic? Oh, oh, big baby. I can't believe Big Shoe Steve actually got someone to marry him. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, here they come now. Oh! Oh! Hey! Can you come get me? Ship's just a little stuck right now, babe. Just give us a minute. Babe, please, I need you to come get me. These shoes cost a trillion dollars. Okay, just a sec. Ew, it smells like begging hearts up there. Can you come get me? Are you listening? You need to come and get me. Does she stop talking? Hey. You're just figuring this thing out. Just one sec. Babe, you missed me. You need to come over here. Come this way, babe. We're stuck. Okay, get yeah, unstuck and just come get me. We got stuck because of you. Oh my god, Phil, 
Are you okay? Dude, I almost died. Hey, this is taking way too long. I'm just going to go for a walk. Hey, bye, babe. Bye, babe. I should have stayed in the swamp. Hello? Listen, Mac. We're gonna give you one last chance to join our scooter guide. Thank, thank you so much. But this time, ride a cooler scooter. Cooler scooter. Got it. When I said cooler scooter, what I meant was awesome scooter. Which this was your end. Pull my finger. Uh oh, who brought the duck? Am I right? I don't see no duck. Hey, everybody, how about this? If I'd known I was gonna take a trip, I would have packed a suitcase. <laughs> Sometimes I put spiders in your food. <laughs> Dad, get down from there. You're gonna die. Oh no, please stop. Um, the next contestant on the slide is right. <laughs> Dad's kind of hurt. <laughs> Those aren't tears, just the water. Oh, oh, oh. Don't help him, kids. It's the only way he'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> and in wild and wacky news, if your dog keeps going... <laughs> Time to wrap it. <laughs> just no, keep going. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what a guy. See more geniuses at cmt.ca slash almost genius. <laughs>